Anesthesia information management is becoming increasingly important for documenting patient care in the perioperative environment, pre-op, intra-op, and post-op. In 2001, the Anesthesia Patient Safety Foundation approved an initiative on perioperative data management to endorse and advocate the use of automated record keeping in the perioperative period and the subsequent retrieval and analysis of the data to improve patient safety. Dr. John Walsh and Dr. Warren Sandberg, Department of Anesthesia, Massachusetts General Hospital, Boston, Massachusetts, discuss anesthesia information management. There are a couple of factors which lead to the need for anesthesia information systems to help us anesthesiologists. One of them is economic in terms of improving our billing, and the second one is in terms of in increased and improved patient care. In, in terms of billing, we have a variety of, in, of insurance companies that we uh, bill through, and each one has a slightly different set of, of data that they need to get. And if we miss any of these things, uh, it's, it's a good reason for them to return our first bill so that we're not paid, and then we have to go through the process again. The anesthesia record is the key document that's used to create the bill. Uh, an anesthesia department's success in billing appropriately directly impacts its ability to stay financially whole. Uh, by using an anesthesia information management system, we're able to ensure that all of our records are compliant, that there are no overlaps between records, that there are not too many concurrencies between records that are generated by providers visiting in multiple rooms. Our anesthesia information management system at MGH has allowed us to drive the ratio of billable charts to 100 percent. In terms of patient care, there are a variety of ways that the systems help us with patient care, including keeping track of things that we might forget, uh, allowing us to have information readily that uh, normally wouldn't be readily available to us, and the like. In terms of doing studies, in terms of data availability, Having it on computer is, is far better than doing paper reviews. First of all, you'd have to gather 600 different charts and look through the 600 different charts, whereas with an electronic system, you could sit there at one terminal and gather all the charts instantaneously and do your analysis uh, without having to, to go around and gather up different pieces of information. For the critically ill patient, uh, the course from the operating room to the intensive care unit should be a continuum of care rather than two separate processes. Using an AIMS product that dovetails with a critical care management product allows the information that's gathered in the operating room to basically be available and be present in the ICU and during the transport. Anesthesia information management systems provide for a smoother workflow. We think that they provide a better anesthesia record which leads to a, a safer patient because there's more information available about the patient. We also think that they're useful for later data analysis of uh, potential critical events. And we also think that they're useful as a research tool to ask and answer questions about the management of our patients in the operating room over all patients. One of the advantages of an AIMS system is in its clinical decision support, and that is a, a, as it applies to patient safety. So for instance, in improving the, the care of my patient, if I give an antibiotic and four hours later I would normally redose my antibiotic, but for some reason I've been distracted and haven't redosed it, the system can remind me and ask me if I'd like to redose it. We see many benefits from having an AIMS installed at our institution. For example, we create a better anesthetic record in the operating room. This is because the clinicians who are doing the case chart contemporaneously instead of retrospectively, therefore making a better description of what happened during the case. This is useful in the analysis of critical events, and it's also useful in creating a large database of patient anesthetics that have been done at our institution. We have a database of over 100,000 anesthetics, and this allows us to ask and answer questions about performance of some of our most basic anesthetic interventions. One of the advantages of having a system which is implemented in both the operating room and the intensive care unit is that you don't have to worry about the transfer of care. A lot of the problems that occur, occur when one care unit is taking care of the patient and then transfers the care of that patient to an, another set of people. The people who are receiving the patient oftentimes don't, under, don't know what happened in the previous area, and there may be some critical thing that occurred there. One of the key features that an anesthesia department should look for in an AIMS is flexibility. 
that is the ability to customize the product to meet its unique practice patterns and needs. Legacy systems frequently lack this element of flexibility, whereas more modern AIMS products do have the ability to create flexible and customized products for the individual users. Well, initially when anesthesia information systems came out, they were a way of taking information from a monitor and storing it onto a computer, which technically isn't all that interesting a, a technical problem, but it was probably more technophiles who, who liked to, to play with the systems. It didn't provide much in terms of patient care or in terms of ability to improve your billing or that sort of thing. But uh, the current systems have gone a step beyond that. Uh, by allowing the computer to look into the data that's recorded from the monitor and using that data to help with clinical decision support. And I think it's the clinical decision support that's really going to make a difference in this next, this next generation of anesthesia records. The AIMS, I think, is basically the wave of the future in OR information management systems. It allows anesthesiologists to integrate data from literally every data source that they deal with in the operating room to create a unified record, a better patient record, a searchable database to do quality improvement work within their own department and nationally. I think it's a tool that will improve patient care both by doing a better job of patient data management and to allow us to improve the methods that we use to give anesthesia in the operating room. Anesthesia information management systems may confer many user benefits, including improvements in functionality and use of the clinical record, creation of electronic audit trails and enhanced information security, error reduction, automated data capture, improved workflow, tools for coding, event management, decision support, and data mining for retrieval and analysis, which may lead to opportunities for improvement in patient safety.